The bounty hunters have been laying low recently, like they're waiting for something. <laughs> Gera kada će mense bigna ruku. Der intu runto. Hey, I saw that ship you flew in on. My ship. No, I don't think so. You and me, we got some business to settle. It's the Ebon Hawk, isn't it? She was stolen from me during a routine run in the Mid Rim, near the close of the Mandalorian Wars. We'll see about that. Watch yourself. Nar Shada can be a rough place. <laughs> Let me shoot him in the back. No one has to know. Grachi ubachi kumpadwa la muska na boska wamba. Treliba kumentosha. Nora hagwa muska yokola. Haba hinema chan kutosh nerema keras. What is
Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them like a shiver running through you. It is Narshada, the true Narshada that you feel around you. It is this moon, with the metal and machines stripped away and the currents of the force laid bare. I'm surprised you can feel it. I fear the damage to you had deadened you to such perceptions. What you feel is the echo of the minds of these creatures within the Force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. Strange? Perhaps. Perhaps not. It is but the vibration of minds driven by life struggles. The struggle to feed, to take, to mate, to fight. It is the way of things. It requires that one be able to feel the critical point within the fractured mass and know how to strike it in such a way that the echoes travel to your intended destination. Not in the sense you understand it. The ability to fool the minds of others to dominate them on a massive scale that you speak of is not achieved best through raw power. Manipulation is done through propelling events or selected ones into motion. It is done through teaching, through example, and through conviction. And the greatest of victories are not manipulations at all, but simply awakening others to the truth of what you believe, of hearing it echoed around you in life. But let us be silent. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment for as long as it will last. Feel life as it is, with the crude matter stripped away. Don't waste my time. I've got a transport to catch. Please, look, I, I already paid the exchange what I have. <laughs> Uh, but I, uh... Oh, look! Here's the one with your credits. About time. Look, these gentlemen are getting impatient. Are you crazy? That was exchange muscle. When they hear about this, they'll come back a dozen strong and tear you limb from limb. It's your life. Me? I'm laying low for a while. And what is it you think you have accomplished? If you seek to aid everyone that suffers in the galaxy, you will only weaken yourself and weaken them. It is the internal struggles, when fought and won on their own, that yield the strongest rewards. You stole that struggle from them, cheapened it. That is all I ask. Nishasa <laughs> Ochu. Prota gocha, uba volpa holosha. Crimso anatis chino, uba volpa holosha. 
じゃばなきし。你杀死。トノランダマナカン、ロッカカマランエンドソーランウィノチャ、ロッカカマランエンドソー。ジョロンマバコドゥソトメコガリマチトゥパチャマチャロアバコクパロントノーランダマナカン Jawajo singu poenda rakawa ichi rendu momo parama kawana abau. Loka kamara nendo soran wi no chabi. Do. Tonoranda manaka. トノランダマナトノランダマナカンエポエンシャワボーマババベワントスシントムカラタトゥエスフェクトチャビドコトノランシブウンダーサランス、クレマスンクンラトゥンガラ、チャウィモジュブウン、トノスエマラギス、ワナラコラ。ネシャサオチュトバカプロタゴチャ、ジャクマティソチ。ジャバナキシ、トチマカ、ウバヴォルパホロシ、バカプロタゴチャ、バカプロタゴチャ、ヌスジャバ、ジャバナキシ、ネシャサオチョ、バカプロタゴチャ、ジャクマティソチパンドル、
Bográsión con tichaum, quien lorta aiza kun, aiza patisa tong, tia kun bato kaun, chona choba. Tapichayubo. Chupa yubon la bogra, mi junca gratuk, jimu, yo mawama ni boba. Mi hunka gratuk jimut malia bistwa chopiti mantu. Chopiti mantu nja. You interrupting me for a reason? I have a lot of work to do, to manage here. You not from here? Business bad. Freighters get hijacked, no trade gets through, and they can't get fuel from Sleheron. Fuel reserves building up there. Goto and his exchange hijacks Voga's ships. Hurts business. For money, I assume. We don't know how he does it. Every ship we send out, he gets. Fine. You... You talk to Voga. Maybe him you can help. I have enough trouble with Pylon. Pylon power supply badly damaged. Only can support one Pylon at a time. Can't bring freighters in fast enough. You help bring freighters in. Maybe Fasa can help you later, huh? Good, good. I give you basic access to pylon consoles. From pylon, you can read ID signature of freighters. You figure out what order the three freighters should dock. Freighter with higher first two numbers has higher priority. One more thing. First two numbers are always the same as the first two numbers in the second set of numbers. Use a pylon power console near me to change which pylon is powered up.
Oh, looks like the Jedi raised their standards. And it looks like you're not alone. Ugh, how many Jedi are on this moon anyway? Hanhar. I thought I smelled something. I've told you before, hunt your own targets. Don't scavenge mine. What, working for the hut suddenly made you stupider, Hanhar? You touch me, you'll break the truce. And then you won't last long enough to slip off this moon. Don't, Hanhar. I'm warning you. I don't want your life debt, Hanhar. I told you. Yeah, you're right. I'm afraid. I'm afraid if you keep crushing me, I'll accidentally set off my rocket charges and blow us both to now Hutta. I'd rather die than be caught by you again, Hanhar. You help the fa- I not the fun guy. Yes. Not a very good idea. Entering a Mandalorian's room uninvited. Why don't you back up to the point where you were standing outside the door and rethink your decision?
Chubabash, get Scala, Dorcha, what Baricun, the Shunko, Jova, Ninja, Chimba, Pak, the Shunko, Jova, Ninja, Chimba, the Shunko, Jova, Ninja, Chimba, Pak, Citri, we don't say Crate, Auto non. I don't know who you are, but you No harm done. For a minute, I thought you might have been someone else. My wife, Ada. There's a chance she may be here on Nar Shada. Thing is, I can't get into the refugee sector. And even if I could, I'm not sure I could find her. I've been here for weeks, hoping to see her face. The exchange has got the place barricaded with thugs. They're putting the squeeze on the whole sector, trying to crush the spirit out of the remaining refugees. Yeah? And what's it gonna cost me? Well, I'm not gonna turn away an offer of help. All right, stranger. If you can find her, then you'll have my thanks.
Grotto no ranga manatandi grotto. Mosh ni manina mosh na. Hawa ni twati wa to turn over there mosh na. Hawa ni twati wa to turn over there. Mosh ni manina mosh na wa la huna kine. Mosh ni wa kine. Greetings. I am B5. Malam pasta ravando cremo gavan Boot my Boot my alecho magic you lay be mad ah what abola chiki Bogra kim unchu pagra kui. Bogra kim unchu. Patisaka tunta. Bot maia. Chupai yubon la bogra turon. Bogra kim unchu pagra kui kile joni. Ui chi bolam. Ulga kile bot maia. Chichis kabole, tapi cayu bon, watagri tuk jimu, bobraki. Chichis kabole, tapi cayu bon, katuga kile wata, lula. Ulga kile bot. Interrupting me for a reason? You helped Fasa. So. Great.
Doverin incha, yo non ha shi tasa chuch. Wana tu mo bayes? To. To resenta we not a. To no tu cha. To cha rama kak. Harmony to a tea water. Harmony to a tea water. Marsh me my nina. Do not use the force as a crutch. You have survived long without it. Do not use it to weaken you. because I am simply not a skilled Pazak player. Why, I cannot help myself. I am concerned that the problem may lie with my memory core. I fear my obsession with Pazak is one such corruption. Why, I do not... I am not sure I wish it fixed. Yeah, maybe if the droid's not very good, there's some credits to be made here. Oh, most certainly, sir. I am not a good player. Quite the mark, as it were. Oh, hello. You have caught me at a rare time. Usually there are many players. I fear it is because I am... Why? I am cons... I fear my obsession. I am not sure. Yeah. Almost. I suppose you're right. Oh, that feels much better. I cannot believe I went on and on about such a foolish game. Thank you for repairing me. I feel ever so much better now. What up, what up, Sue? I think maybe you should let me handle this one. Kichu no kada mirenito. Febko Emaria. Donos Emaria. Just like a Jedi. Herita Pachasa Borta, Chris Socha went things in main punta, Lord Chawata, Yuma Ni, Hodanga Yuma Des, Dak Bota no Chi, Tagua Ita. 
Taracho mosca wana bota. Unta chiwita. Dovre kun mili. Kawana bota. Da hupa. Ta kometa. Que chubo grai. Monsikuno bostun. Dovre kun mili wosa. Chone murler. So, you have the look of a seasoned spacer about you? That's so? Well, you're in luck. I got plenty of it. Here's the flask. If you want to find out what's going on, I heard the Ovis here kidnapped Nadar's daughter.
The exchange's thugs are always demanding toll and tribute. Dovrei con mille uosa slima po guanga samoana gmuta. Tagra mancio cina me bortan dorchu gos. Da hupa bossa curata. Cavadumpa mo wendido ciò che rembi norta cunion wish chawa cachuba. Sura da. Da hupa, bossa curata, go, giugiù tu gli occhi. Dovrei con mille uosa slima po... Dovrei con mille uosa slima po guanga... Unta civita inca cauana bota, iunta tanga chi... Da hupa, bossa curata, go, giugiù tu gli occhi. Cauana bota, iunta... Sarquesh has got us hemmed in like animals. I wish some... Someone would sneak into their camp and rob them blind. Hey, you look like a spacer. You work at the docks? Because if you need a crew, I'm your man. I flew during the Mandalorian Wars, and again during the Jedi Civil War. You need a pilot's license to fly the freighters here. They're tough to get without sponsorship. I'd greatly appreciate it. Greetings. Are you the spacer we were told about? Oh, we were expecting one of the pilots from the docks sometime soon to come and get us off Nar Shaddaa. He's late. I don't know where he is. Thank you. To be honest, I don't even know his name. Some guy named Planor said he had a pilot friend who would take us for 500 credits. 50 credits? Why? I was afraid of that. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. Thank you. I'm beginning to lose hope that we'll ever get out of here. Hey, any luck yet? If you want to find out what's going on, talk to Hussein. Monsi kuno bosh tuna bu. Kawana bota yunta tanga kina matora. Takome tak blaya justing miki gong. Onta chiwi. Are you one of Sakwesh's men? Did you take my daughter? The overseer, Sakwesh, he took my daughter to sell to the huts. Don't taunt me. Please. I owe Sakwesh 600. Thank you. But I... Uh, won't he try... Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Traveler. My name's Husef. Uh, I try to look out for the other refugees. I see you're a stranger here. Watch your step and uh, keep to the camp. You've got the Serico refugees over on the Skyward side. They're veterans from the Serico campaign and don't take kind to strangers. And on the inner side, you've got the Overseer and his exchange. They've been pushing us refugees pretty hard lately. Those two have a truce. Neither side wants to mess with the other. Only if we enter their territory. It makes things a little tight here in the camp. Not much room to move.
Occasionally, their thugs kidnap people and sell them into slavery with the huts. They've also hemmed us in. We used to live all throughout this area, but they've crammed us all in here now. If you could convince either the Exchange or the Serico to give us more space, that would really help a lot. Thanks. Another refugee? I'm sad to see another join our ranks. I lost my husband Lutra long ago in the Jedi... What? Lutra's here? Please! You must help me get to him! The Exchange is circling the sector like Shyrex. If one of us should slip free, they will hunt us down and punish us. No one knows. I think they're trying to starve us into submission. Then they can make us slaves on the Hut Spice planets, or disposable workers in the Tabana gas factories on Slaheron. But other refugees think the Exchange is looking for someone. Some even say it's a Jedi, but that's insane. No Jedi would ever come to a waste pit like Narshada. It's back. Really? The others say I have the plague. I'm feeling a little... The Jedi Code is still alive and well. If you say so, I'm not sure I believe. There's a lot of people who need help in the galaxy. If we stop to help each one, the Sith are going to be on us faster than anything. Let's just accomplish our mission first, then worry about everyone else. Something up? All right. Yeah, that's a surprise. I'm as Atten as Atten will ever be. And whoever your trusted informant is, he's right. I did show up on Nar Shaddaa during the Jedi Civil War, along with a lot of other refugees. No, because you're asking about it. If I wanted to tell you anything, I would have come and told you. Anything else? Is this an interrogation? If so, you're terrible at it, especially for an ex-Jedi, or whatever you are. Why don't you just crawl in my head and try to dig out whatever you're looking for, rather than asking about it? You know what? I helped you get off, Paragus. If I hadn't been there, you wouldn't have even gotten off the administration level. I'm trying to help you. I don't know why I'm bothering. Yeah, well, I... I still helped you. Sort of. Maybe you shouldn't look a free Ronto in the mouth before you buy it. You know what? Not once have I asked you about the Mandalorian Wars. Not once. I heard about Duxon. Everyone has. I heard about Serico, and I sure as hell know about Malachor V. What makes you think you've got the right to interrogate me on anything? You've got plenty of lives to answer for. All you Jedi do. How did you even live with yourself after Malachor? Is that why you went back to the Jedi Council? Hoping they'd kill you? Wasn't it? Maybe you thought they'd forgive you. Sure, you might have thought they'd execute you. But Jedi don't kill, do they? At least not their prisoners. Maybe you were counting on it when you went back in chains. So you got off easy. You were exiled, brushed under the cargo ramp. Another dirty little Jedi secret. I'll tell you. All those Jedi at Malachor? They deserved it. Every last one of them. Because Jedi lie, and they manipulate, and every act of charity or kindness they do, you can drag it out squirming into the light and see it for what it is. The galaxy doesn't need Jedi arrogance or Jedi hypocrisy anymore. At least the Sith are honest about what they're killing for. The Jedi are pacifists, except in times of war. They're teachers, except when it comes to telling their students the truth. And when they save you, it's only so you can suffer more.
Whatever, just leave me alone. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with you anyway. Well, don't get too attached to me. I don't like it. It's because I'm a deserter. It's what I do. Served in both of them. Against the Mandalorians, before and after Revan, and again, when Revan declared war on the Jedi. Because I followed orders. But it was more than that. You were there. You knew how easy it was to hate the Jedi who sat back in the Republic, evaluating the threat, and watched us die against the Mandalorians? Because you can't believe in the Republic anymore after the Mandalorian Wars. After Revan, nothing was the same. Right after that final battle at Malachor, I was right there with the rest of the defectors, because it was the right thing to do. No, it wasn't. We needed the Jedi during the Mandalorian Wars, more than anything. The Mandalorians were slaughtering us by the millions. The millions. You were at Serico, when they turned the Starib cities into glass craters. At Duro, when basilisk war droids rained like meteors onto the orbiting cities. And when the Mandalorians set fire to the Zoxan Plains on Ares III, the fires that still burn. Without the Jedi who turned on the Council, without you, the Republic would have lost the war, and we would all be Mandalorian slaves or corpses. We were loyal to Revan. That was enough. She saved us. After Malachor, after the Mandalorian Wars, that's when the Sith teachings started spreading through the ranks. We knew where our loyalties lay. To the Jedi who came to help us. Not the ones who sat back on Dantooine and Coruscant, watching us die. So when those same Jedi who watched us die decided to start fighting us during the Jedi Civil War, we fought back. I fought back. I started killing Jedi. A lot of them. People say killing Jedi is hard. It's not. You just have to be smart about it. No blasters, no getting close to them, no attacking them directly when you can gun down their allies instead. There's ways of gassing them, drugging them, making them lose control, torturing them. I was really good at it. What's worse is that killing them wasn't the best thing. Making them fall. Making them see our side of it. That was the best. I taught myself techniques. It's hard for Jedi to sense what you're really thinking if you throw up walls of strong emotions and feelings. Lust, impatience, cowardice. Most Jedi awareness doesn't cruise beyond the surface feelings to see what's deeper. And I was good at that, throwing up walls. And my superiors knew it. Sometimes the Jedi on our side wouldn't even realize I was there. Yeah, I had a talent for it. More like instinct. I wasn't the only one. I know you left at the Mandalorian Wars, so you don't know much about what went on behind the scenes in the Jedi Civil War. But Revan understood one thing. The real battle was going to be fought between the Jedi on both sides. That was the only battle that mattered. Whoever had the most, the strongest Jedi were going to win the Civil War. If Revan couldn't convert Jedi, Revan would kill them. So Revan trained elite Sith units into assassination squads whose duty was to go out and capture enemy Jedi. I was in one of the special units trained to do this. Yeah, Revan had plans for all Jedi. I think it was important that the Jedi see her side of things, the Sith teachings. Revan wanted to break them, and then have them join her. One day, I decided not to do it anymore, so I left. Ended up on Nar Shaddaa, became someone else. I didn't think you would, after Malachor, but it was a chance. 
I guess I was just tired of keeping it in. And I've been with you only a short time. Enough to know that as soon as someone signs on with you, they haven't got long to live. You got history, and anyone who travels with you doesn't. And maybe I want somebody to know who I was in case a story needs to be set straight. Maybe you understand. Well, there was a woman, a Jedi. She, she gave her life for mine. I never knew her name. She sought me out. She said she had come to save me. She was lying, of course, or I think she was. It doesn't matter. She told enough truth to get my attention. She said that Revan was doing something terrible to Jedi within the unknown regions. That when we captured Jedi, they were sent to a place designed to break them. And that anyone in her service who showed any ability with the Force was sent there too, to turn them, to break them into dark Jedi, or assassins trained to kill Jedi. She said that's what would happen to me, that I had the Force inside me. That's why I was so good at killing Jedi. And that when the Sith learned of it, there would be no escape, no turning back. I would become an instrument of the dark side, forever. I had heard talk in the ranks, troops vanishing. I knew what she meant, but I didn't believe her. Or want to believe her. I did what I did with all Jedi. I hurt her. I hurt her a lot. And then, right when I thought she couldn't take any more, she showed me the Force. In my head. And I felt everything she felt. And I heard just an echo of what the Force was. And how what I was doing, I think I loved her. But it wasn't that kind of love. It was the kind of love where you're willing to give up everything for someone you don't even know. Maybe. It doesn't matter. I killed her for crawling in my head, for showing me that. But before she opened her mind to mine, my only thought was that I would love to kill her. And at the end, I killed her because I loved her. In the end, she sacrificed herself to keep my secret to prevent the Sith from knowing about that touch of the Force inside me. She wasted her life to save me. Me. And I felt her die when she opened her mind. I've killed Jedi, like I said, but I was never there to feel it, to be on the receiving end. And after that, I couldn't stop feeling things. Before, guilt, lust, impatience. It had been orchestrated to get close. Now it all just kept tumbling out. And I couldn't keep doing what I was doing. So I left. I fled with the displaced war veterans to Nar Shaddaa and I lost myself there. Until the war came to an end. I wanted no more of Jedi, or Dark Jedi, or the Force. I just wanted to be left alone. And then, I met you on Paragus. And I thought maybe, maybe she had saved me so that I could help you. And if I can't, then I have to try. I didn't want to tell you any of this, but I had to. Because if something happens, I can't let you think I was doing it for something other than the past. Once, a Jedi showed me the Force. I heard it. I felt it. At the time, there was too much pain to confront it. Because if I did, it meant I would be changed into something else. Now, I'm not afraid of it anymore. And I think that by learning how to use it, I can help protect you. Or at least buy you some time when disaster comes screaming in. I want to learn how to use the Force. I want to learn how to use the Force to help you. What must I do? Is there some... some ritual? Or...
Just <laughs> say the word. This is Serico territory. Get out of here before we space you. God. That's a laugh. Look, blow out of here like space dust, or you'll be a new stain on the cargo hold. All right, you can go see him. Is there any way to do that without crawling inside their head? Something up? All right. Yes. Hurry up and take care of your business. for me. Yeah? What about the exchange? Thank <laughs> you. 
time. Hey, let me take... Expert. All done. I yes. hear you. More where that came from. Orlin. More where that came from. Let's settle this. I 
will silence this one. More where that came from. You, one of Sasquatch's calf hounds. Ooh, the ugly thug knows my name. Can it also count? Really? Oh, why didn't you say so? Oh, sorry about those things. I. Oh, goody! I was hoping I'd get to sit in this cell a little longer. Hey, you're back. Oh, I wanted to see you thrash him. Well, thanks.
I hear you. Thanks for saving me. Thanks for taking care of Sakwesh. I fear what the exchange might do next, though. You've already helped us greatly. You wiped out all of the Serico on your own? <laughs> Impressive. You've already helped us great. Back again? What? Lutra's here? What? How did you do this? I barely know you, and you've brought me word of my husband, and then a free path to him. It's almost too good to be true. You've given me my husband back, stranger. My husband. My life. Thank you. Did you find us a pilot here? Please. I used to serve in the Mandalorian Wars. Thank you so much for your... Hey, any luck yet? You are interrupting me. F Can't do anything when ships hijacked. Yes, but no work. You talk. You are in. You not from. Thank you. 
Thanks again, stranger. You've returned Lutra to me, and I will be forever grateful. Aida, I didn't think I'd ever find you. I can't believe you're here before me. The destruction of Telos? I can't even tell you what happened after, being shuttled from system to system barely one planet ahead of the Sith fleet. Shh. We can talk about it later. You have my thanks, stranger. I can only hope you have as much luck at what you're looking for. It's strange you came by when you did. I was right at the edge of deciding whether to give up, turning it over in my mind. And suddenly you walked through the door and gave me the answer I needed to hear. Maybe you're right. Thanks again, stranger. It would have been better had he found her on his own. By aiding him, you have only weakened him. He was at a moment of crisis, a moment of indecision. It is those internal struggles when they are fought and won that yield the strongest rewards. You took that battle from him, cheapened it. If he truly loved her, truly, he would have entered the refugee sector on his own. Damn the exchange, damn everything in his path, and taken her. You have made their union easier, not better. If you care for them, then dispense with pity and sacrifice, and recognize the value in letting them fight their own battles. And when they triumph, they will be even stronger for the victory. Spare a few credit. Uh, all right. I don't know much beyond the refugee sector here, but I can share what I know. This sector's filled with refugees from the Jedi Civil War. Refugees and war veterans both. Friend, you did promise... Look, one other thing. It's obvious you're new around here. I can tell it just by looking at you. Nar Shaddaa can be a rough place, and easy to get lost in. If you want, I can keep an ear out for you. Let you know if I hear anything. I'll do that then. I'll come seek you out if I hear anything I think you might want to know. Haven't heard anything more yet? Why are you here? Because I told her. Told her everything. Ah. Yeah, so no more threats. No more of your requests. You and me, we're done. Did you ever think I truly held you? You're more of a fool than I thought. What truly held you was you. And let me show you why. I once held the galaxy. 
by the throat, as you once held her by the throat and let her die slowly. And your emotion at that point is what you fear. I wielded power like you cannot imagine. Everything I saw was awash with possibilities, spreading outwards, touching everything else. I saw all of that, all that the Force is. And only when it was ripped from me did I truly see it. And I know what lies buried within you, that you hide with your desperate thoughts, your guilt, your lusts. I can unlock that part of you any time I wish. It is a simple thing, the human mind. Once it feels something strongly, it becomes etched in the memory, the subconscious. Shall I show you that part of you that hungered to kill Jedi, that took pleasure from it? Or perhaps you will continue to listen to my counsel and I shall ignore your pathetic attempts at freedom. Now leave me, murderer. I have nothing further to say to one such as you. Without anything And what did she want? Not much. Just answers to some questions. Really? Interesting. I haven't heard anything more. And what did she want? Not much. Just answers to some questions. Really? Interesting. Join us. Our clan has traveled here in search of work, and if we find a working arrangement, then I'm sure you could be included in. 
I'm not here for any mercenary work. I'm here to return your clan to Duxon, where I am restoring our people to their former glory. Mandalore? But after Revan defeated Mandalore, no new one was chosen. I intend to rectify that error. I have no doubt that you believe that you are Mandalore. But look at the situation we are in now. Anyone could buy a helmet from a swoop track and make such a claim. And the last time Mandalore traveled in the company of non-Mandalorians, we were pledged to Exar Kun. Indeed, this life is not pleasing to me. Nor is it pleasing to the others of my clan. We long to prove ourselves in battle once again. I heard rumors from Isis about Mandalorian sightings on Duxon. So perhaps there is truth to what you say. Very well, Mandalore. My clan will follow you and make for Doxon, so that another clan might be added to the strength of your army. Excuse us. We must gather the rest of our clan and deliver them the news. I haven't heard anything more. Exchange has got this sector carved right down the middle. Ugh, the stink here in the refugee sector is worse than the rest of them.
Let's see, three bricks of spice out to Elysia, then with a the turnaround, um, no, no, that won't work. Ah, uh, come act! You here so soon? I wasn't expecting you for... Uh, well, not now, anyway. The junior shabby lunk, the rowinch, is Rick Mellister and Yeah, well, I, uh, <laughs> I tried to explain that, you see, but, um... And now we saw the mechanics. I had no choice. These, uh, these thugs showed up and, uh, they said that you could go space yourselves. And uh, I was like, no, no, this is the Red Eclipse. And. Uh... Someone's trying to board it. Ugh. If they think I'm going to give up this ship without a fight, well, they're wrong. It's good to be back on the old girl. Hey, what are you doing on my ship? Damn right I am. What are you... Something up?
Yes. Say the word. Time to take you down. Time to take you down to size. Look, there's been a misunderstanding. The, the ship, it's all yours. Consider it a gift, all right? Didn't know you were messing with Red Eclipse slavers. Guess those stories about the Hawk being a cursed vessel are true. Great, I'll, uh, just find my way out, all right? We just got this message on the comlink. Looks like trouble. I think this is something everyone will want to hear. The droid's the one who picked up the message. He's got it all ready to display. Well, good thing it's not a trap. No, Atten. I think it may be a trap. Could you please lighten up for one second? It may be a trap, but traps work both ways. This Visquis, his kind is spread through the lower reaches of Nar and he may have information. But the choice is yours. If you go, you will have to go alone. It's just off the docks, near one of the far traffic pylons. He's got you at a disadvantage there, though. The place is filled with cyanogen gas. One whiff of that and it'll be the last breath you take. You'll need something to allow you to breathe there, and disguise you from the other patrons. You're right. Without breathing and skin protection, you'll be dead in seconds. Besides, you'll need a full bodysuit if you want to remain disguised. Like I said, a human walking around in there isn't going to get a warm reception. No droids, either. There's a lot of electromagnetic activity in the area. Screws with comlinks and behavior cores. Don't be surprised if your auto map starts showing static, either. Well, I wouldn't keep him waiting. If you got his attention, you probably attracted the attention of someone else.
Parama kawana kochukitsa. Moka kama ran in doso ran with no chabi. Du ran tamana sobu. In wamagro, me rangana noruta. Moka kama ran in doso ran with no chabi. Du ran tamana. Febko emaream ga wata situ in sulara. Donos emaragith. Wana rakora chi drum ka sa in chobin sasha. Tosimana rochata. Moka kama ran in. And sanacha. Tu estrectona tarda gacha. Donos emaragith. Wana rakora chi drum ka sa in. Do mababe want to susin tu mukarata. Tu machabi doko. Tona ranga mana chunga. Rana mo sibu in dasarans. Crema sunkun ratungala. Chawi mo jubu in kosoracha. I haven't heard anything more yet. Hey, look. I wanted to tell you. Be careful. I won't be able to contact you via the comlink if something happens. And I'm betting that Squidhead knows it. Look, take these. They're antidote packs. If your suit gets breached, you'll need to inject them fast if you don't want your lungs to seize up. And trust me, once the seizures start, you'll be dead. Watch yourself, and don't be too long. I'll keep an eye out here until you return. And I know just the place. So, you're the big Jedi that everyone's been talking about. You don't look so tough to me. I thought you Jedi were supposed to be smart, and here you are, running around Nar Shadda, sticking your lightsaber into everyone's business. What, were you planning to save everyone on this moon? You're attracting more attention than a fleet of Sith warships. I'm Mira. I'm the best bounty hunter in this system, and that's not me bragging, that's fact. I had you in my sights ever since you landed. I've been watching you run all over the refugee sector like a bantha, and for someone with a price on their head as high as yours, you sure don't know how to keep a low profile. Look, I know that Squidhead Visquis sent you a message to meet him in the Jek Jek Tar. He works for Godo, and it's a trap. I'm betting he's gonna lure you in there, start a fight, and then he's gonna wrap you up and deliver you to Goto. Dead, claiming you attacked him. Just this. I know you're meeting with Visquis. If I know about it, that means everybody else on this moon knows about it, or will soon enough. And when that happens, the bounty hunter truce is off. That means things are gonna get real ugly real quick. I think your friends are the ones in trouble. Well, this sure beats staying on the ship. A few drinks to keep me on my toes, a few games of Pazak to keep the mind alert. Should be enough to keep me out of trouble until our fearless leader straightens things out. <laughs> 